Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today we're going to take a look at using uh, ArtRage 4 uh, on the Asus VivoTab Note 8. Uh, so uh, this is uh, sort of continuing continuing on with my videos that I've uh, done, kind of just showing uh, some uses for uh, pen-enabled Windows tablets. Uh, and particularly Art Rage 4 uh, on these Windows devices. Now, um, you know, if you haven't seen my vid my preview for uh, the VivoTab Note 8, uh, please take a look at it, and because uh, I, I kind of show what it really is. But you know, in in short, it really is a 8-inch full Windows tablet uh, with with an Atom processor, uh, two gig of memory to to uh, run applications with, and anywhere between 32 to 64 gigabytes of storage uh, on the device. So. So here we are. I'm at my Windows 8.1 uh, launch Art Rage. And here we are. Okay, so uh, standard full Windows version. We have our palette, uh, presets, and stencils and so forth on the sides here. Toolbar up on top. Uh, what I did is uh, uh, also on this device, uh, the thing I, I also installed, which is sort of a necessity, is I'm going to go to the uh, control panels here under the hardware and sound. Oops, wrong one. Uh, under the hardware and sound, I actually have installed the Wacom, uh, the Wacom drivers, the field drivers. They don't normally come come standard on Wacom enabled tablets. Uh, like the Service Pro 1, 2, and the Vivo, Vivo Tab Note 8, uh, they're, they're, they're a separate download, so I highly recommend downloading them because what, when you run them, they give you options, a lot more options, to set the tip firmness and softness, uh, eraser if you have it. Unfortunately, this, this, the, the built-in pen does not have that, but the built-in pen does uh, have a little button here that I set to do the, be a right-click. I like to use hover-click, and then uh, you can calibrate if necessary. So it's kind of nice to have this uh, if you want to do any real uh, drawing on it. Alright, so let's go back to Art Rage. So, other things I did real quick is under the Art Rage preferences, uh, I basically, uh, basically changed the input device here to uh, use precise, precise tablet uh, and uh, WinTab is selected by default, so I just kind of have those options enabled. Uh, the one interesting thing I found, I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, on the surface, on the surfaces that I've used, the the pinch and rotation gestures work, and here they don't. Uh, and I can't quite figure out why, because if you see, it's actually drawing, uh, which is not exactly what I want to do. So that's something funny about uh, this, and I, and I couldn't quite figure out what it is. I have to take a look and see if I can find more information about that. Uh, so all right, we'll go to new painting, and I won't don't want to save this. And once again, uh, you have your options. I'll use window size. So I'll pick 1280 by 800. I'll use the default canvas. I won't play around with the different options, but you've know, got lots of options to play with. All right, so we'll start off with my, my basic pen tool. I'll choose like a little black color to go with, and I'll just begin sketching. So the one thing about the, the Note 8 is, uh, you know, they say that uh, there's more, that you have a lot of, uh, 1024 levels of detail on it uh, or pressure on this pen and I don't know it, I often don't, don't think it it does it doesn't feel like it does uh, obviously for for pressure wise I can I can go harder and softer but I was it, it does it doesn't it's, it's you can tweak it but I but the, I'm see I'm kind of kind of go, I'm go real light on the screen and so you you can get that, but it doesn't feel like 1024. But all right, it's not. That, and then once again, that's really something about this pen versus uh, and this digitizer versus uh, not, nothing to do with that art rage itself. But the software hand, the software it runs pretty nice uh, on here, uh, even for an atom processor. It uh, seems seems to work okay. Um, All right, so I'm going to use uh, some other tools now. So I'm going to bring the layers up. And I'm going to do a new layer. I'll put this below. Close that out. All right, so let's go with the uh, paint tube. I'll go with uh, how about a kind of a garnet yellowish kind of color, and I'll kind of basically just put some paint down. And see that I'm going to go light to heavy. 
So you can see there is there is that there is pressure sensitivity. Just uh, I just don't really think it's as heavy as they they uh, or as as many levels as they they, they advertise. So I'm going to use the the paint the paint uh, um, palette knife here. Just kind of push this around a little bit, and then basically I'll uh, use the airbrush, pick like a little darker red color, and I'll just kind of go over this area. Uh, use some presets, and I'll just go with a slow flow here, so that way it's not so so blindingly. Uh, well, let's see, let's make the flow bigger. There we go. And then we'll go with the paintbrush, add a little bit of blue. And then basically I'll uh, let's see what else I use. Uh, so I'll use the well, the paintbrush here. Start mixing things in a little bit. Add a little bit of green in there. So as I do more mixing, you, you see a little bit of lag going on there. It's not horrible, but it, it does have something going on. It's busy. But it, it still works quite, quite nicely. Now I can't I, I can't set, uh, say for sure if it's, if uh, really really complex paints paints will have any problems, but so far from what I can see here, it actually runs okay. Uh, take the palette knife, spread this around a little bit more, and uh, choose a different color here. Oh, you're the presets. All right, so. Put the eraser. Start going over some of this stuff. So probably the only, only say drawback of the Vivitab Note 8 is that that um, the pen tends not to be as as sensitive as 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 I would have liked it to be. But you know, it's this is a very very inexpensive Windows-based tablet that can actually run Art Rage, which is kind of cool. Uh, so it seems to run it just fine. Uh, you know, no major issues. Uh, I've 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 run into so far. So I'll make a new layer. I'll hide, let's see, hide this one so I don't need to see it. Take this one here and just do some coloring. And the airbrush tool, a little darker color here. Uh, I'll shrink this down a little bit, it's kind of kind of big. Shrink down a little more. There. Oh, I can't zoom in! I don't know why it does that. Um, it yeah, it's funny how that is. I can just I guess zoom in it's manually this way, but it's funny that that uh, the pinch zoom gesture doesn't seem to work. I'll just think about what what it might be. So. Let's see what else we got here. I mean, pretty much this shows that the program does does work. So, so there you go. So that's, that's a view, a look at running RH4 on the view of Chad Note 8. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, running other programs, or there are programs, and or even this things I'm not doing, because uh, I'll I'll freely admit that I'm not. Uh, pro at using Art Rage 4, uh, but you know, uh, let me know. Subscribe, uh, you know, send me a note, and let me know if this thing is something you want to see. So, thanks for watching.